Suicide numbers for the nation's war fighters remain at alarmingly high levels. And now there's a new push in Congress to designate a Sunday in September as a national day to raise awareness about suicides among the veteran population. Mike Gooding spoke to one of the organizers who has a tragic personal connection. Our suicide numbers have not gone down. If in some cases they've gone up. 6,261 veterans died by suicide in 2019, according to the VA. The Defense Department says active duty suicides increased by 13% in 2021. Now, a coalition of more than 45 nonprofit military veterans organizations has sent a letter to Congress to urge establishment of National Warrior Call Day. The resolution would designate the Sunday after Veterans Day as a day to bolster awareness among Americans and push them to connect locally with warfighters who may be struggling with mental health issues. Even though the wars have ended on paper, they have not ended for the hundreds of thousands of veterans that struggle every day with uh, the consequence of their service. Troops First Foundation Chief Operating Officer Frank Larkin's son Ryan was a decorated Navy SEAL sniper who died by suicide in 2017. Ryan was later discovered to have suffered from undiagnosed traumatic brain injury related to blast exposure. His story has illuminated uh, this issue, uh, certainly within the SEAL and Special Operations community. We're still kind of feeling our way through the tall grass to help these veterans who have become isolated and slipped into dark places where bad things happen. This is about preventing others from having to walk this path of pain. Mike Gooding, 13 News Now. The effort has the backing of all seven living former secretaries of Veterans Affairs who signed the letter to Congress. Last year, a similar bill failed to advance beyond the House of Representatives.